welcome back to a special sports talk segment featuring The View. I'm Rocco Law. This week, I had the pleasure of interviewing former Mepham quarterback, now turned tight end, Tyler Davis. He was recently selected in this year's NFL Amateur Draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here is what he had to say. Tyler, and, and you know, again, big congratulations, you know, getting drafted a couple days ago. You know, it just must be a, a whirlwind for you just a couple days after. But um, just going before the draft, um, what, would your, what were your expectations before the draft had started? Uh, thank you, first and foremost. Uh, it's a dream come true for sure. And just uh, to be able to experience here at home uh, with my family, watching the draft in the same spot that I watched it for years as a kid was just a dream come true. And to, to get that call was, was such an amazing moment. Um, leading up to the draft, uh, I got good information from my agent that uh, there was a good possibility that um, there was going to be some takers on day three. Um, so I was just really tuned into the draft to see um, the other tight ends, where they were going. Um, because obviously uh, in my situation, I wanted uh, more tight ends to go off the board early. And uh, there was about five of them that went around two and three. And uh, I woke up on Saturday morning thinking there was a good chance that it was going to happen. And uh, it culminated and uh, we all got the moment that we all wanted. And, and when I got that call. Like as the draft was unfolding, I mean, what was going on through your mind? I mean, watching the draft, and then, boom, your phone rings in the in the sixth round. Uh, it was an awesome experience just watching it the whole day. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize uh, how much business is actually taking place uh, during the draft. Um, it wasn't just sitting there the whole time, you know what I mean, like a lot of people think. Uh, there's a lot of business getting uh, moved around between talking with your agent and teams calling um, just to see what's going on, just so they can get as much information as, can, as they can. So. Uh, it was definitely a busy day, and um, it was just perfect that it ended that way um, after all the calls and all the uh, uh, calls back and forth with my agent and just paying attention to the draft, seeing who was going. So uh, it was it was pretty uh, a hectic day for sure, and it's, I'm just glad that it ended the way that it did with that call from Jacksonville. And, um, you know, as soon as the pick is announced, I mean, you must have heard it on TV for your, for your agent. I mean, what happened at your house? I mean, once the pick and pick was announced? Uh, so I got that call and I kind of just dropped to my knees and uh, just so emotional just knowing how much work this game uh, playing in the NFL and just to be there with my family and everybody was just over overjoyed and just Hello, screaming. I, I couldn't even hear the, uh, uh, the general manager, David Caldwell, on the phone because everybody was yelling so much and then. Uh, got the call from Doug Marone, the head coach, after just to uh, speak with him, and everybody was still going crazy. And uh, it was just an awesome experience to, to have with my family. Um, just all the years of hard work it paid off, and all the sacrifices that my family made uh, for me to be able to live out my dream paid off as well. So it was truly a special moment. Um, you know, while you're on the phone with, um, like you said, general manager um, Dave Caldwell, I mean, you seem to have an idea that Jacksonville might be interested in you. I mean. What made you think that? So, at my pro day, I had met with one of their scouts. Um, he really liked me. He had told me that uh, the general manager, David Caldwell, was at uh, one of my games during the season, and uh, a game that I played pretty well in. And uh, so I knew that gave me a good shot uh, landing with them, just knowing that uh, he had seen me in person. That's a big deal when the general managers get out and uh, see you in person. Um, that means a lot from them. And just talking with them this whole time during this process, they seemed uh, their interest was pretty high in me, and uh, uh, my interest was very high in them. Um, just uh, their scheme and the, the people in their organization uh, is truly first class, and I wanted to surround myself with, with people like that, just truly amazing people and a great organization. And uh, uh, so it was great that it worked out, and uh, I'm just happy that uh, I'm, I'm able to go down to Jacksonville. And, and play for the Jaguars. In any normal year, um, we assume you'd be, you know, on a plane to Jacksonville as, as of right now. I mean, what's the plan under the current situation? Right. So, uh, yeah, the plan uh, in a normal year would be you get that draft day call and they got you on a flight the next morning down to Jacksonville to start start uh, getting to work. But uh, in these times, these, these unprecedented times, uh, nobody really knows what's going on. Um, they know just as much as – as we do. And so they're sending stuff over to here uh, to my house, the playbook, 
uh, some weight room equipment just to, to help out. And uh, hopefully we can get this um, coronavirus uh, solved as quickly and safely as possible so um, that we can get to the facility and uh, uh, because I can't wait to get down there and, and really get to work uh, in the facility and with all the guys. So uh, hopefully sooner than later. Since as far back as we, as we can tell, you, you've worn number nine. And uh, in Jacksonville right now, um, that number belongs to punter um, Logan Coke, uh, Cook. Any any thought on you know what number you you know you might switch to you know maybe you might have to you know bribe him maybe you know do something to get that number nine or maybe the transition to a to a new era. Yeah, no, not nine was a good one for me. Uh, it was uh, I can think back to high school wearing the nine. It was uh, actually number six a lot growing up as a kid, and I got to varsity football at Methem, and uh, they didn't have a six for some reason, and I just thought maybe I'll flip it upside down and be a nine, but. Uh, there were some great years in that nine, and uh, uh, I moved on from that. Now uh, I already got my number. I'll be uh, number 87. So uh, obviously good memories and uh, just excited to start a new journey, a uh, new number. For Last year in Atlanta, Atlanta, you were, you know, the veteran working with, you know, freshmen, with a freshman named Tyler. Now you're going to, you know, to be a rookie working with another Tyler. Uh, that's, you know, veteran tight end. Uh, Tyler Eifert, have you been, you know, have you spoken to him yet? I mean, what do you need to, um, you know, learn from him as you begin your NFL career? Yeah, it's crazy that uh, it works out like that again, uh, two Tylers. But uh, I've been watching Tyler since he was in college and um, just trying to emulate my game off of him. And uh, he's a tremendous player. I've always uh, – he's been a great guy to watch over the years and just try and pick up stuff from him. So – uh, I can't wait to get to work with him. Um, I'm going to learn as much as I can. Uh, obviously, a veteran, been in the league for a long time. So just following around and, and learn as much as I can from him and just soak in every single detail that he, that he says so I can become the best player that I could possibly be. And um, obviously, draft day is, um, you know, draft day is a dream come true for you. And But, I mean, who are the other people along the way that have played a part and, you know, getting you to this day? Uh, I don't think we have enough time to go over everybody. Uh, it's just so many people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, from my family, uh, my mom, dad, my brothers helped me out along the way. Uh, uh, from peewee coaches um, to high school coaches to every single supporter that I've had uh, throughout high school. And a lot of those supporters carried me through college. And um, all those people as a whole, every single person played a role in this. Uh, I firmly believe that. Um, I cannot thank enough people. Um, I had 350 text messages Saturday night, and uh, uh, I've responded to every single one of them by that night um, because it just – these people mean so much to me, all the people that supported me along the way. So um, to, to answer your question, everybody played a role in this, every single person from – if you went to one Metham football game, if you uh, were a parent uh, when I was playing Pee Wee football, everybody had a role in this. And uh, I'm just so thankful to be around such uh, great people uh, in this town. And, um, you know, what, what advice do you have to the current Mepham Pirates who, whether they are football players or just a freshman in, in math class about, you know, the value of hard work and dreams? Yeah, for sure. No, I'll just say uh, dream big. You can never dream too big. Um, a lot of people told me that this wasn't possible and, and look where I am today. Um, Obviously, for football, uh, here on Long Island isn't a hotbed by any means. Um, a lot of people didn't think I'd be able to do it. And uh, I just worked as hard as I could every day. So uh, whether that's you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, um, a teacher, whatever you want to be, just give everything that you have for it. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, even if you don't get there, you can tell yourself that you gave everything that you had for it and you'll have no regrets uh, later on. So I would just say dream big, and no matter what you're working for, go as hard as you can at it because anything is possible. And, um, you know, just one more question before we add all, all this. And a bit of a funny one. Um, you know, is, is there any truth maybe to um, the rumor that, you know, um, that you may owe your NFL career to Mr. Stein for, you know, awarding you extra yardage where, you know, when you were a Muffin player? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a really funny one. I remember uh, in high school, uh, uh, me and Krakow, uh, we would go watch the film, and uh, uh, sometimes the stats were padded a, a yard or so extra. Um, that's, 
Mr. Stein did a great job uh, keeping stats. I would recommend him to any high school to, to do the stats for their the quarterback would be greatly appreciated for him, and uh, uh, he was awesome during my career. So uh, definitely played a role. Uh, I'm not sure how big of a role, but uh, definitely played a part in uh, where I am today.